Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome to the channel. So glad to see you today. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to talk about how to create a new service. And what is a service? And why would you add that to your item list? And how would you use it? So let's get right down to it. But before we do, I'm going to have you click in the link down in the description below so you can get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Where you can join up and ask questions or request videos people such as myself and other point of sale users will help you out with your problems <laughs> and if you're on youtube today don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you get all the latest greatest quickbooks point of sale videos all the time all right we are going to head over to the item list in quickbooks point of sale here you probably have many 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 inventory items and things that you sell in your store but maybe you're moving beyond just the items that are sitting on your shelf. Maybe from time to time you realize you're actually doing something for your customer that you should probably be charging them for or making a little bit of money off of because it's taking your most precious and valuable asset and that would be your time or your employee's time. And so we've had numerous videos on how to track inventory, create inventory, uh, make assembly items, make group items, but today we are talking about selling your time, really. And so if I hit the add button up here in the upper right, uh, what you can do is you can move the type of item down here to service. And there's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, I know in my own company even, I, I do this two different ways, and one would be that I decide I'm going to charge money for a particular job or task that gets completed. And so uh, let's say you're a computer store and you are going to charge for installing Windows on a computer. <clears throat> Or this could be, you could be an embroidery store and this could be embroidering one hat. So it could be more like a, kind of like a service charge uh, or a fee for doing a particular task. And that would be your service item. So this is the first way that it works. <clears throat> Not sure what departments we have. I'll just say miscellaneous. But let's say when I install Windows, I just charge a straight up, eh, what am I going to do? straight up $60, right? Now I'm not gonna have an order cost or a unit cost or average unit cost. I'm, I'm not even gonna have a vendor because it's me myself doing it. And so I'm just gonna charge a straight up $60. Uh, I could say if I wanted to that this is unorderable because you can't order a service. Uh, but really, you're gonna notice that the income account in QuickBooks Accounting is going to be service sales. Uh, there is a cost of goods account and the reason why there is one of those is because you can subcontract your labor and service items out to somebody else and you could actually use a receiving voucher to in essence um, uh, purchase that service from your subcontracted company. That's kind of a topic for a whole different video though. So just remember here we're having one task and that's the installation of windows and we're going to charge a straight up sixty dollars for that no matter how long it takes so that is install of windows now the second way that you can do a service item for labor is um so in my own well let's say we could do this a few ways in my own situation i would do consulting you know, and I might, I put in a regular price of, uh, I don't know, let's say $80 an hour. That's not what I actually charge, but uh, you could do 80 And pretty much similar when we are setting this up, <clears throat> we are just going to put in the price. You might put in an item description if you like. Um, hourly consulting charge. Or you could even put that in the name as well per hour <clears throat> and there you have it 
it's just another uh, service charge, but this one, you're not just doing a particular task, you are actually going to charge hourly. So we'll go ahead and save that. Um, you know, another one for the hourly charge could be landscaping. Landscaping work per hour. And I don't know what they charge, $100 an hour or something. Uh, oops, gotta make sure that it's in the miscellaneous department or whatever department you, maybe you have a department just called services. Um, and so this is gonna be a service item as well. Now, if I'm checking somebody out, you know, if I was gonna install Windows for them, I would probably add the install of Windows, and that's just a single item for $60. And then, you know, I'd probably add the actual software to the receipt, and there you have it. I'm gonna charge you 60, you can probably just ring it up and, and have them pay up front because they're they're just gonna no matter what happens you're gonna get Windows installed and it's gonna cost them sixty dollars. Now with the other type where I'm doing consulting per hour, uh, what happened? Oh, it looks like I did not change that to a service. So that's a lesson to y'all. <laughs> consulting, you can actually switch this after the fact. So it's good thing this came up because we can check it out it is on inventory and I want to change it to service so save and then I'm gonna go back to making a sale and now we have it consulting per hour and let's say you were working for somebody for two hours and 15 minutes so I would do 2.25 because of course that is two hours and 15 minutes it's two and a quarter hours at $80, which means I'm going to charge them $180. Now, one more thing that you need to think about, and this is for most states, you can see that this is set for tax. And so uh, it's actually 193.28. Now, most states do not tax services. So when you set up your service of consulting or your task, you make sure that you know that what your state's rules are so you know whether to set it as tax or non. In my particular state, it's going to be non-tax. And when we go back to make a sale, oh, come on now. We do consulting, now we can see it's non-tax, and so if I put in that two and a quarter hours, now we're a straight 180 and we can bill the customer. Uh, you can either collect it from them face to face, or you can put it on account and send them an invoice through QuickBooks Accounting. Uh, I find that in this, in this uh, situation, that's probably what you're normally gonna do. There you have it. We've created service items and there's two different ways to do it, whether it's a task or hourly. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming along. If you like this video and it helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button down there. If you have any further questions, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll be happy to dialogue with you. All right. You have a great day now. Bye-bye.